Okay, alrighty, alrighty, we're doing this. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough, the 2023 edition. Yes. We're in 2023, guys. Gotta start off pretty good right here. Anywho, in our last episode, we went through quite a few things. <laughs> a lot of things, I should say. A few routes, the trick house. Got ourselves a new Pokemon. And to me, I'm, I'm liking this new Pokemon right here because, well, you know, I've always looked at it as a, I don't know, a nuisance of, of some sorts. So as you guys remember, we caught, ourselves, we caught ourselves Gulpin last episode, and this Pokemon turned out to be a very, very good uh, asset to the team. It's, a, it's only a Poison-type Pokemon, but its ability right here really, really helped us out when we were taking on some Grass-type Pokemon. Plus, it leveled up easily, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? We might have this Pokemon later on at the very end of our team. So, here we are in Mauvale City, and there are quite a few things that we're going to be doing here, guys. Uh, we're going to be battling a, we're gonna be battling a lot getting some new items, uh, going to a few new towns and all that crud, and, uh, yeah, grabbing some items of some sort, and then we're gonna be finishing it off with a final battle with, uh, the Mauville City Gym Leader, yes. Now, let me see. I'm gonna take a look at my phone right here. Let's go right ahead and take a look at how, how long did it take me to actually get to episode, or to Mauville right here, or to the Mauville City Gym Battle. So if you guys remember, I did Pokemon Emerald back when I restarted this channel, and uh, let's see, we're in episode 10, and we're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna be doing the final, or we're gonna be doing a gym battle, our third gym battle, at episode 10. At episode 10, in my original walkthrough, I was at oh no way, I was at Duford. Holy crud! Yeah. I was at Duford battling for my second badge, and uh, it took us, well, let's see, it took us, well, let's see, one, two, three, oh, wow. It took us eight episodes to get to our third battle. Holy crap baskets, guys. Yes, it took us, it took us that long, okay? So, what is going to happen here is I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys quite a few things that you can actually find, battle the, 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 the trainers, and then after that, you know, get with uh, get with the last trainer right here. So first is first. You're in Monville. You're gonna be finding uh, the Rydell place right here. Right in the gravel and shake up your soul. Rydell cycles. Okay. This is the place where you'll be able to get yourself a bike. Talk to this man. And he's like, well, well. What do we have here? A most energetic customer. Me? You can call me Rydell. I'm the owner of the cycle shop. Your running shoes. They're awfully filthy. Did you come from far away? Yes, I did. Hmm. Huh. You're saying that you came all this way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. I'll wait a, s well, wait a second. I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes right here. There are there are the mic the mock bike and the acro bike. The mock bike is for cyclists who want to feel the wind of the the wind with their bodies, and the acro bike is the is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you want you like. And well, for this time, I'm actually gonna go with both because I'm actually gonna be going through quite a few places right here, guys, and I mean quite a few places. So, we're gonna start off with the Acro Bike, because this bike right here actually, you know, it, you can use it for secret places that the only the Acro Bike can go through. Mock Bike, of course, you know, super fast and all that stuff, and, uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking of using the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Cycling Road, just for that situation right there. So, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna register this, that way we don't have, we have to do anything else. And, uh, well, first is first. If you guys remember, there are quite a few items that you can grab right here, such as an x speed, which you might be needing. Uh, going into the gym battle, go in here, and you talk to this gentleman, he's like, Woohoo! I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy, but I find that sort of uh, degrading. I think I deserve a bit more respect, like maybe the Rock Smash dude. <laughs> Anyways, your Pokemon look pretty strong. I like that. Here, take this hidden machine. And there we go, guys. We got ourselves the HMO6 Rock Smash. 
So that HM ca contains Rock Smash. If you come across large bo boulders that block your path, well, use the HM move and smash them right out of your way. Yes, sir! Smash rocks aside, I say, woohoo! Okay, so that's, well, that's, that's something that we can use. The only problem is, I think we need a gym badge for this sucker right here, so we're gonna have to wait on that. But it never hurts to tra it never hurts to teach somebody that. So we're gonna be giving Rock Smash to Zigzagoon right here because, well, it is our HM slave and all that crud. We're not really gonna teach it anything else. And well, the next thing you need to do is go and straight to this house right here and talk to this young lady. And she's like, if I had a bike, it'd be easy to cycle Slateport for some ch shopping. I'd be able to buy Harbor Mail at the Pokemon in Slayport. Oh, you have a Harbor Mail. Will you trade it for a coin case? Yes, I will. Oh, I am so happy. Okay, I'll trade you the coin case. And there we go, guys. Got ourselves a coin case. Nice. That coin case can be used to the game corner. Hmm. Okay, the game corner. That will be included into this episode right here. So, let's go right ahead and start with our battles. Let's go north. Let's go east of Mauville, and we're gonna be finding some uh, Pokemon trainers at Route 118. And uh, well, while we're battling all these trainers, I might be rambling on about a few things. I don't know. Just because I can and all that stuff. Anywho, guys. Uh, yeah. So it's a huge difference. I mean, probably an eight eight episode difference when it comes to these gym battles and how I'm going about with my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough and all that crud. And the main reason to why I'm doing this is because I actually want to finish this game a little earlier than expected. Not because I'm, I just don't want to play, it's because, well, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys, if, if you've been in my channel for quite some time, you already know that I kind of prolong things, I kind of like to, I kind of like to, uh, you know, go piece by piece in every single episode. That is going to be the main difference right here, as well as in Pokemon, uh, in Pokemon, whatchamacallit, in Fire Red, as I'm continuing that whole thing right there. And, well, there we go. Defeat that. X-Boom gets to level 20. And let's start an uproar. And wing attack for this guy. Yeah. So, that's probably what we're going to be doing. And, well, I'm getting a good reception out of all of it, especially in Fire Red. And, well, look at that. We had defeated this guy, and look at this. X-Boom is finally evolving. Okay, so another thing, too. Some of you guys are wondering, hey, are you going to include the Pokemon you caught in both Yellow and in uh, Crystal into this version? Yes, I will. That is why I am playing Pokemon Fire Red, because it is compatible with trading these Pokemon to Emerald. The only problem is that, well, I got to wait a while. That's why I started Fire Red a little earlier. So here we have Loudred, a newer Pokemon, and of course we're going to be getting some numbers. Yes, the Aroma Lady loves us. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Loudred. So look at this guy right here. He's a little bit bigger. He does have the ability Soundproof. You know, that's going to help us out. And, well, its stats, you know, are pretty basic right there. And we still have the same moveset and all that crud. So we need to heal up our Pokemon with uh, Paralysis Heal. Let's see. Chesto Berry. Eh, let's go with a Cherry Berry right here. Yes, I know I'm wasting most of these berries, but... I will try and plant some stuff. So let's go right ahead and... Let's see, there might be an item here. No, here. Yes, we found ourselves a heart scale, which will help us out later on. Talk to her. Even if there isn't a boat, you can cross rivers in the sea if you have a Pokemon and no surf. Pokemon can be counted on to do so much. Yes, they can. And, well, we got two opponents here ready, ready for us, so let's go ahead and switch it out. I have a feeling... Actually, no, that's not going to work out because, well, Steel-type Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and battle this guy. And wow, he's looking at us. He's like, let my melody rock your soul. Hmm. All right, bring it. Here we have Guitarist Dalton. Time to go speedy on him. And Magnemite is a Steel-type Pokemon, too. So just be aware of that, guys. And, well, we have defeated this guy right here. Let's go right ahead and put Sea Blade on the on the helm right here because we also need to evolve this Pokemon. And bam, yes, we have defeated a, another Dalton right here. Okay, so yes, he's going to be giving us his number as well. And well, let's see what else needs to be done. Oh yeah, let's go right ahead and do this. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. For fisherman equipment is the key, but for trainers, the ingredients are Pokemon at heart, of course. 
Alrighty. Bring it. So, here we go. Taking on Fisherman Wade. Coming out with his tentacle. Let's go ahead and speed it up. And here comes the quick attacks. And we got to level 25. There we go. Not bad. Not freaking bad. Alrighty. So that is that right there. And uh, here's something that you guys should keep an eye out for. This, this whole thing right here. Yeah. That will have a big importance later on when we go into the legendary Pokemon. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on right there. And uh, before we do anything... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go go ahead. So, going in... Going into the Marvel, you're going to be noticing that there's somebody waiting for you guys right there at the gym. And it happens to be Wally. Oh, Uncle, please! I want to challenge this gym and see how much better I've become! Please! May I please? Now, hold on, Wally. Since you started living with the Pokémon, you've grown quite strong. But don't you think you're pushing it by uh, to suddenly challenge a gym? I'm not pushing it! If I combine forces with Rawls, we can beat anyone! Oh, hi, Draven! I've gotten a lot stronger since we met! Draven, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Draven, please, will you have a battle with me? Sure, let's go right ahead and embarrass you just a tad bit. Draven, thank you. Okay, here I come. Okay, let's go right ahead and see how strong Wally's gotten. And, well, oh crap, oh, he's only got one Pokemon, so that right there is not... Oh god, oh god, this is going to be bad. Okay, maximum effort, quick attack for the win. And just like that, one hit wonder, bam. Wow, we have embarrassed Wally. Dot, 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 dot. I lost. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Uncle, I'll go back to Virgin Turf. Draven, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not just to have a Pokemon and to make the uh, battle. That isn't what, or that isn't what a, uh, being a real trainer is about. Wally, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? Come on, let's go home. Everyone is waiting for you. Alrighty. And, well, Wally's uncle is going to be like, Draven, it just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who camped an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you come and visit us at Verdanter sometime? I'm sure Wally will enjoy it. Pretty sure he will. I will be right back with you on that, Jim. And, well, this guy right here is like, <laughs> I was watching that match. You're friends with Wally, that boy Wally, aren't you? But you didn't hold anything back and beat him impressively. Yeah, just the one hit. Just one hit. Yeah, that's what a real Pokemon battle is all about. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, okay, so whatever. Anywho, guys. Here we have the well, the Pokemon Casino or what is it called? Yes, the Marvel Game Corner. We will go. We will come back to it a little bit later on. So the next big thing right here, guys, is we're going to be going west and heading into Route 117. Something big that you guys need to see is this. This is the Pokemon Daycare, and this is where you can actually you can actually breed Pokemon. Big big place right there. And then uh, yeah, there are quite a few trainers that you can actually locate right here. Like this guy. And, uh, well, it is time for us to start training and battling everybody. Bring it on. Here we have a triathlon athlete, Dylan, and he's going to be coming out with his uh, Doduo right there. Eventually, this guy will evolve his Pokemon to Dodrio. It's going to be strong. You will be battling him plenty of times. In fact, uh, yeah, he, he's one of the few people that I actually trained when I was actually, you know, playing Pokemon Sapphire. Which brings me to another another story right here, guys. So, growing up, I actually had Pokemon uh, Sapphire as a as a main game, not Pokemon Emerald. And there was a period where I was actually training some Pokemon, like a buttload of Pokemon, to get to level 45. I don't know why level 45 was the was a thing for me, but I did it anyways, and. Uh, that's where I got to evolve most of my Pokemon, and part of the strategy that got me to level 45 on most of my Pokemon was this this general area right here, because I believe four or five of the trainers right here will want to battle you, and they're yeah, they're, they're, their Pokemon are going to be pretty strong. So here we have these girls right here. I'm with my pretty junior student's partner. I have, it, I have to be good, or I have to do good. Wow. Alrighty, here we go. 
taking on senior and junior and Meg and well these girls also come in handy when it comes to actually battling some uh, or getting your Pokemon trained up and all that stuff and uh, well their Pokemon do evolve later on and BAM look at that we have defeated them and of course they're gonna be sending you their phone numbers just to you know just keep in contact and all that crud alrighty so who's next oh yeah these guys right here too the Pokemon breeders always have a team of six, so just keep your eyes peeled for that one. So we're going to go with uh, Venom right here, and let's go right ahead and start battling. Listen, can I, get, or can I get you to battle the Pokemon I'm raising? Sure, let's go right ahead. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on a Pokemon breeder, Isaac, and he does have six Pokemon. This is a... Uh, Another particular reason to why I wanted to speed it up a little bit because, well, we will be getting trainers just like this. So here we go, Bullet Seed, coming out with a Talo. Everybody's getting some battles right here. Let's go with X Boom, and bam. And here comes Makuhita. That is a Pokemon we do not want to mess with. So here comes Wing Attack, level 23 Sea Blade. Let's go straight to Sage of the Halo right here. And go with a Bullet Seed. Bam, Puchian is coming out. And let's get Venom right here. And let's go with a sludge attack. And just like that, we have defeated Pokemon Breeder Isaac. I'm going to be, or I'm going to redouble my training. Would you come back in, in on us? Sure. Yeah, let's go. Alrighty. And uh, it looks like to me we have another triathlon, Astling. And here we go. I do my triathlon training with Pokemon, so I'm pretty confident about my speed. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go right ahead. And here we have another triathlon athlete named Maria. She also has a Doduo, and she's also another Pokemon trainer you can face up again, just in case you guys want to trade up your Pokemon. And, well, man, that Venom is, uh, that Venom Pokemon is kicking some butt, taking some names right here. And look at that, Maria has been defeated, and this kid does not want to battle me. So we got double battles right here, wow. Uh, first is first, let's go right ahead and take on that guy. I have a feeling... I have a feeling Seablade's gonna evolve and all that crud, and, well, once a bed catcher, and now a bug maniac. But, uh, but my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so here we go. Here we are taking on a bug maniac, Derek, and, well, he's gonna be having some pretty interesting Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and, you know, we can attack them. Yes. Okay, he does not want our number, and we have a potential double battle right here. Either way you look at it, there's a double battle. Concentrate on getting the win. That's how I battle. Isn't it nice to be to battle while looking at pretty flowers? Probably. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another trainer duo right here. Battle Girl Aisha and Triathlon Melina. And I don't... Yeah, I... Which triathlon athlete was it? Okay, well, you know what? Never mind. I'm asking too many questions right here. Let's go right ahead and just destroy these guys. And wing attack to you. And pound attack. There we go. Venom grows to level 20. And Melina has been defeated, as well as her friend. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay. So, let's go ahead and battle one more trainer. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with the... You know what? Let's go with Seablade right here. And let me demonstrate the power of uh, uh, the power hidden within psychic Pokemon. Oh, the hidden power. Okay, so here we go, taking on a psychic, and her name is Brandy. She will be coming out with a Ralt again, another Pokemon that I am like, I kind of wanted to use here, but we've already used it plenty of times, guys. I know, I, I, it is my bread and butter when I go to Hoenn, but. Again, like I said, I wanted to make it a little more interesting right here in this walkthrough. And, well, let's go right ahead and cut this down. Now, a Pokemon you can find here. Ilumise, or Ilumise, Il 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 yeah, Ilumise, I think that's what how you pronounce it. You got Volbeat. You got uh, Puchiana, of course, Zigzagoon. Heck, you can even find yourself a Wurmple right here, I believe. And then, by fishing, you can actually find yourself, what was it called? Uh, Crawdon's, uh pre-evolutionary form. I can't remember what it was called. I need to I need to focus more on how to how to name these Pokemon. And well, let's go ahead and get some hidden items. Look at that. Repels. That's awesome. Grab this. Great ball. That is awesome. 
Okay, and well, let's go right ahead and battle another... Oh, wow. Wally. Oh, hello, Draven. I just wanted to tell you that my uncle bought me a Pokenav. Now I can get in touch with you anytime, Draven. Okay, that took a while. That did took a while. Okay, so we got another Pokemon breeder waiting for us. I think... Let's go with Sage of the Halo right here. And let's see what we got. Please allow me to evaluate if you have raised your Pokemon properly. Alright, bring it on. Okay, so here we have another Pokemon breeder. Her name is Lydia. And we're gonna... Well, we're gonna be speeding it up right here. As you guys can see... Yes, she does have some pretty basic Pokemon. She will also give you her phone number just uh, to battle her, so... Again, this is a very good place to actually battle and to train your Pokemon if you guys want to get ready for the Elite Four. It just... It all depends on the match... Uh, the match nab or the Poke nab and all that stuff. And, well, we're gonna continue on right here. There we go. And coming out with a Meryl, let's go with this guy right here. Sludge Attack for the win. And coming out with a Skitty. Let's go with uh, X-Boom right here. Let's go straight for that. And just like that, we have defeated another breeder. She will be giving us her phone number. That is great. Okay. So what's next right here, guys? Here we are in Verdant Turf Town. This place also has a uh, match, or what was it called? A, a Poke Tent right here. A Battle Tent. We will be doing that for a little, another episode once we get there, once we get a little more familiar with it. Now, a few things that you guys have to learn or have to see is that, you know, Wally's uh, relatives do live right here, which is Wanda's house, I believe. And if you talk to Wally right here, I think he's going to tell you something motivational. Wally! Or, I lost to you, Draven, but I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have a new purpose in life, together with my Ralts, I'm going to challenge Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Draven. I'm going to get, I'm going to be stronger than you. Then I do, when I do, I'm going to challenge you into another battle. Yeah, that ought to be, uh, that ought to be fantastic right there. That will be the day. And, well, if you talk to this lady, she's like, My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel nonstop just so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she goes out into the tunnel a lot. Hmm. You don't say. A tunnel, you say? Oh, Draven! Well, he's next door. But boy, there is something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just envi the environment. It could be a Pokemon that uh, are giving the boy or that, that is that are giving the boy hope. Wow, can't speak good gravy. <laughs> Anywho, let's go right ahead and see what this cave is all about right here. So, here we are in the Rust Earth Town the tunnel. In the other section of the Rust Earth Tunnel, we do not want to battle any of these Pokemon because we already caught it. Now, first is first. Let's go down here to the secret little entrance. And you will be at Route 116. Now, if you see this guy, he's going to be like, I draw my glasses. Can you help me find them? There are some hidden glasses right around here. I am actually going to, you know, I do have it. You know what? Screw it. I have an item finder. Why am I working harder, not smarter? Seriously. Must be smoking some weed or something. And we're going to be using this little sucker. And... And, is, and there's an... Yeah, there's an item right here. But where? Where, oh, where are those... There it is. Okay. So we found ourselves some black glasses. Come to this guy. He's like, I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? And do you guys not notice a little something right here? Take a look closely. Seriously, dude. Your glasses are right there in your face. Those glasses! May I may I see them for a second? Hmm. These are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Maybe my glasses aren't around here. Or maybe they're in your face. I don't know. Huh. Anywho. Now, there is one more thing you can do right here. And that is uh, grab this and find yourself an HP up. Which you can actually, you know, uh, increase your Pokemon's HP or sell it for a good price for more money and all that stuff. Alrighty, so here we have another one. Let's go straight into the Rust Turf Tunnel and put on another Repel because we do not want to mess with these Pokemon right here. Not that we're afraid of them, but... Yeah, the editing got a little crazy and all that crud. So, let's go right here. What do you call a wild man up in the mountains? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call a Pokemon in the mountains a mountain Pokemon? That is a very, very good question. I don't know. 
Okay, so here we are taking on Hiker Mike. And, of course, he does have himself a Geodude, so let's speed it up a little. Bullet Seed for the win. And, yes, he's going to come out with some Rock-type Pokemon. You will not win. And, oh, wow. Never mind. He's got, him, he's got himself a Machop. And, well, there we go. Got ourselves a, another victory. Now, here is the little uh, situation that's going on right here. Let's grab this. Found ourselves a Max Ether. It can actually help us out. But here it here is the daughter of the female or Wally's relative that you know they've been talking about you know boyfriend Romeo and Juliet and we can't do anything about this because yeah we don't have a badge on the other side of this rock my boyfriend is here or there he he is not just digging it, the tunnel to uh, come see me he works his hands raw and rough for the benefit for of everyone and if you guys remember this guy right here told us that the reason why he's uh well the reason why he's digging with his bare hands is because he doesn't want to he doesn't want to aggravate the whisper that are around here you know the uproar is going to cause a big uproar and all that stuff anywho we're going to go back to Maville and we're going to go straight into the cycling run because we got more training right there so I'll be right back with you guys Okay, guys, so here we are back, and now we're going to be going into the cycling road in our little excavation right here. And what's going to happen right now is that, well, I kind of want to be, I, I really do like to overachieve a little bit, guys. And that is, uh, yeah, we can't walk right here. We need a bike. Okay, there we go. Can't see anything now. So, we like to overachieve a little when we go up against uh, the gym leader over in Mauville because he always seems to be the one that's a little too aggressive, a little more, you know a little too, uh, what was it called again? He's a little more powerful than what you expect if you didn't get yourself a Mudkip. Now, keep in mind, there is a secret person right here, and <laughs> I'll desert you with my wonders. Yeah, we do like to over-prepare just a tad bit. Now, is there another Pokemon that I do want to capture? Yes, but that will be later on into our adventure right here because, well, Draven likes to capture some different types of Pokemon. Alrighty, so that was done, and, well... There is something right here, too. If you have a mock bike and you cross this little section, you're going to hear a little bit of a timer go off. And that right there means that you're going you're on the clock, you're speeding through and everything, trying to beat some time. And at the very end of this whole section right here, you're going to be finding yourself an individual that will be timing you. And uh, well, try and beat it. Like, try and beat it. Like, try and beat your times. And the amount of times that you've actually hit or collided with somebody. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, another antidote. Yeah. But, yes, there will be an individual trying to time you and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and take on another triathlon athlete right here. And, well, look at this. Abigail, ready to go. Alrighty. And she does come out with a Magnemite right here. Magnemite is an interesting Pokemon because... You know, it is a Steel-type Pokemon, and it is pretty much the bread and butter of the Marvel City Gym, and, well, she likes us, she wants to give us the Pokenab, and bam. Okay, so who's next? Let's see. Don't want to use Seablade. I could use Venom, but we're probably going to be physical on some people right here, and, well, okay, seriously, I'm trying to talk to you, homeboy. Yo, you! Can you keep up with my speed? I kind of did. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead, take on Triathlete Anthony, and he's coming out with his Magnemite, speed it up, and we're going to be, yeah, that's not going to work at all, any poison type attacks won't work, so we're going to go with Sage right here, and let's go straight for a quick attack, and just like that, we're going to be taking on another Magnemite, and there we go, increase some uh, more levels right there, okay. So, that right there kind of tells us that we do need to... We do need to find a different Pokemon that could help us. I don't know if we can find a Pokemon that could help us. I was actually trying to trade a Pokemon that could help us, but... <laughs> not there yet. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what's up right here. Don't panic if your bike's going fast! It, it really isn't. It's not going fast at all. I mean, it never was going fast. Okay, so here we go. Triathlon Benjamin wants to come out with his Magnemite. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here with the Pound Attack. That's not going to do anything. Let's go with Sage of the Halo. Of course, we're going to get hurt. There we go. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer. 
All because of that friggin' confusion. Oh my god. And yes, we're gonna get some uh, more phone calls right here. So what's next right here? Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's go straight for a Super Potion. There we go. And... I think we did buy ourselves some Paralysis Heals. Oh yeah, we did. We bought quite a few things, guys. We can never be too prepared. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on. Oh, hey! you! Oh, crap, Baskets. This guy is the guy that says right out a lot. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Yeah, I hate talking to that dude. Alrighty, so, look at that. We're popping a wheelie. Talking to this girl. Hello? I've been riding without stomping. My thighs are like rocks. You don't say. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. She wasn't kidding, guys. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. Alrighty, so, we're going up against another Magnemite, and, uh, well, let's go Venom. Let's do this. Let's try and, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and go to X-Boom right here. And, let's go with a Pound Attack, an Uproar. There we go. And coming out with another Magnemite, let's continue on right here. Pound. That one, and there we go. And, finally, a Pokemon that we can actually beat. So here we have Voltorb at level 6. Not the best Pokemon. Not yet. But it's one of the fastest, which is pretty cool right there. And, well, I think... Yes, we got one more trainer right here, probably. Alright, what's up? Whoa, watch it! I guess you're not used to bike racing. I think we are. I don't know. Are we? Or are we not? Okay, so... Here we have Triathlete Jacob, and... Well, he's coming out with his Voltorb at level 6, so this is going to be easy for me. Let's go Venom, take care of uh, these guys, and... Let's go straight to Sage of the Halo. Quick attack, quick attack, quick attack. And there we go. Level 27. That's how you do it. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I think that's it. Learning techniques will make a bike riding uh, bike riding even more fun. There are some places that you can uh, reach only by using a bike technique. Like this? Like, like that? Yeah, I can do that. So here's the individual that times you. On the cycling road, those riding mock bikes are rated for their number of collisions and total times. Acrobites do not qualify for rating. They are easily t uh, they are easy to turn, and that's not fair. Hmm. Okay, that is true. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, guys, is I'm going to go back to Mauville, and uh, we're going to take care of a little situation right there, too, because, well, I think we're ready. I think we are. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Mauville, and there is one more thing we need to cover, and that is the game corner right here. Now, this is probably the last generation that we will be able to have any kind of slot machines and any kind of... Uh, any of these roulette games, because I guess some parents got a little, you know, PO'd about gambling in a Pokemon game. You know, that kind of stuff. So, let's go ahead and take advantage of this whole situation. Talk to this person. And she's like, I made a mistake and got two of the same dolls. Would you like one of them? Yes. And here we go. We get ourselves a Trico doll. I do believe we get the doll related to our starter, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Look at that. Alright, so we got our first doll. And, uh, first things first, guys. Let's go ahead and buy us uh, some uh, some coins right here. Of course, if you want 50 coins, that will cost a thousand Poké Dollars. 500 coins is 10,000, so let's go right ahead and buy 500 and check out some of these uh, these slot machines. Now, you press the down button, and uh, the amount of times that you press the down button will be the amount of wager that you're going to be putting in. The amount of wager you're putting in will be the, uh, the highest possibility of chance to actually win something. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and go with three. That way we can actually get something here, because I don't intend on losing all my money. So here we go. One, there's two, and three. We lost. Holy crud. Okay, let's try this again. I gotta win something here. And there's one, there's two, three. Good gravy. Okay. It's, it's, it looks like to me we're not gonna win a lot of things. Here we go. One, here's two. Good gravy. Oh my god. Okay, one more time. I think this is how addiction happens. Oh my god. Yeah, this is how a gambling addiction starts. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we're, we're gonna lose all our money. Good gravy. And yes, we won! And that is a replay. We don't get any money. Wow. Okay, one, two, three. Yes! Okay. Alrighty. I think that's uh, that's that's how we're gonna do it because yeah, I'm gonna be up ahead and all that crud. Okay, so that's how you play that game, 
And if you go right here, the minimum wager at this table is one. Do you want to play? Sure, let's go right ahead. It's the same thing. Place your wager with the control but or the control pad, then press A. So it's the same deal. If you want multiple wagers, you can press the side button where you can actually get a whole row um, vertically and horizontally, I think. Let's see, let's see if you can do, yeah, horizontally you press up or down and you can get, you know, horizontal uh, Pokemon right here. So what I'm going to do, I like my chances if we get these guys right here on yellow. So let's go right ahead and throw that ball. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of Pokey shoes and crap baskets. So that didn't, yeah, we didn't win anything. Okay, let's try this again. Again, this is how addiction happens, guys. It really, really, really doesn't uh, help me at all. So let's go, let's go with this guy. I have a good feeling about this color right here. So said my friends that told me to stop gambling. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, this is lame. Okay, let's try that. Now, I'm going with the same Pokemon, it's the same deal, but, oh, 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 oh! <laughs> it's going the opposite things that I'm choosing! Okay. We're gonna play again, we do have a shot now at different colors right here. Come on! Give me one win, just one win! And... Buckets. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Let's go with green. I have a feeling that green's gonna be it. See, this is this is Draven building up a gambling addiction. Oh my lord. And yes! Okay. We have won. That's a hit. How much money do we get? Not a lot. Oh god, okay. So we got one more chance right here. And I'm saying you, you can play the odds right here, guys. Let's see. Let's go with yellow. That is a better shot. Or that is that gives me the better odds right here. And uh, yes! Look at that. I win again. Oh, you feel the rush. How much do I get on that? Really? Four? Oh my god, that is uh, ridiculous. Okay, so we're done with this. We are done. So that is how you play this game. Now, there is another place here, too, where if you talk to this lady, you can exchange your coins for some prizes. One being, you know the different kinds of uh, Pokemon dolls right here for your, uh, your secret base. And I think if you talk to this girl right here, she will exchange uh, coins for different kinds of TMs. One of them being TM TM13, which would be Ice Beam, TM24, Thunder uh, Thunderbolt, I believe TM35 is Flamethrower, TM29 is probably Return, and TM32, I would like to say a Shadow Ball, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So yeah, we're not going to do that right now because, well, we don't want to build up a more an addiction, okay? So, the next thing we need to do is go straight to the Pokemon Gym, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are in front of Marvel City's Gym, and I did do one little thing. That is, I did teach X-Boom Thunder or Rock Smash. Why? Because in combination with both how and the effects of Rock Smash, it could give me a shot to try and beat some of these Magnemites right here. Yeah. Sue me. Really don't care. I'm gonna do it anyways. Plus, uh, like I said before, guys, some of these Pokemon will not be on my team for very, very long. We're gonna be picking out some new Pokemon members and all that crud, and, you know, we're gonna really, really make this team into a pretty good one right here. So, let's go right ahead and get into the gym right here. Let's finish this off. Okay, talk to, talking to the guy that's ever believed in us, he's like, Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Draven? Watson, the leader of the Mauville Gym, uses Electric-type Pokemon. If you challenge him with a Water-type Pokemon, he'll zap them. Bzzzed. And he's put in switch-controlled doors all over the gym, eccentric. Hey, go for it. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business right here, and as you guys can see, we got double battles, and I mean lots of them. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And let's go ahead and take on some of these electric type Pokemon trainers. With my charm and my Pokemon's moves, you'll be shocked. Uh-oh. My electric soul! It'll shadow your uh, it'll shadow your dreams whole. Hoo-ha! Okay. My dreams. My 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 ambitions, everything. And here we have 
guitars in Battle Girl, and well, look at that. We're coming up against an Electrike and a Meditite right here. And well, <laughs> let's go right ahead and make sure not to physically hit any Electric type Pokemon because that's not what we need. And uh, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Sea Blade right here. I know it's a gamble, but it must be done because well, Meditite might have its way with X, X Boom right here. And here we go. Bullet Seed Attack. Here we go. And that was two times. Good gravy. Okay, so here comes a Leer Attack. Affecting us both. And, well... You gotta love the defensive battle right here. Here comes Metatite. Going with a Thunder Punch. Oh my god. That right there, I did not see. Let's go with another Bullet Seed. Let's go with the Wing Attack before this guy gets us. And, bam. That's how you do it. Meditite has been defeated. Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty, and well, we got another Pokemon battle right here. Here comes another Meditite. And I'm thinking, yeah, this guy has Thunder Punch too. So let's get rid of Electrite. Come on. There you go. And that's how you do it. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. That is how you do it. Okay, and well... Here we have two more Pokemon, and he's coming out with a Voltorb. So at this level, Voltorb might have something uh, cooked up and everything. So let's go with a Bullet Seed and another Wing Attack right here. And there we go. Meditite has been defeated. Look at that. Okay, and well, here comes Sea Blade, or no, Sage of the Halo right here. And bam. Come on, finish him. Hit him five times. Come on. Oh, crap baskets. And, well, here comes a shockwave attack. And that right there hit Sea Blade like a ton of bricks. Yes, this place right here, <laughs> it, is not the, it is not the best place for Sea Blade. It is not. Okay. Time to get some revenge. Let's go right ahead and go with a sludge attack right here. And just like that, we have... Defeated Voltorb. Yes. That's how you do it. Alrighty. Alrighty, okay. And Venom grows to level 21. This will actually help us out too. And well, Vivian and Kirk have been defeated. And yes, shocked by our power. Yes. Shocked by our freaking power. Okay. So, let's see. We need to heal up our Pokemon. Because, actually, we don't. Not right now. But if you step on this, this will actually change the course of the battle. So, Let's go right ahead and battle this little kid right here. See what goes on. This gym's got puzzles! Isn't it fun? Not really. It really isn't. I, I just... Yeah, it really isn't fun because you get shocked. It, it's just bad. Okay, so here we go. Young, taking on Youngster Ben. And he does have himself a Zigzag Goon. But don't let the Zigzag Goon uh, fool you right here. This guy right here has a... My, it, it is capable of learning some electric type moves. One of them being Shockwave. Shockwave does not move or does not miss. It is basically the electric type Swift. And there we go, hitting him four times. That's how you do it right there. Look at that. Okay. And Ben is coming out with a Gulpin right here. Okay. Let's go with X Boom. And well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when we go up against a Gulpin. All right, Gulpin, how's it going? It's been a while. Let's go with a Hal attack. All right, time to increase that attack right here. And, uh, well, here comes a Pound attack. Not so effective. Let's go with an Uproar. And that hits him just a little harder. And here comes a Sludge attack. Holy buckets, and we got poisoned. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're getting everything. We are getting everything. Paralysis and poison, everything. And there you go. Uproar for the win. That's how you do it. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. We're, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. Alright. I'll be right back with you guys. I gotta heal up my Pokemon right here. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah. We do have a choice of battling those two guys or going straight to the gym leader. I, You guys know me. I, I'm all up for a challenge right here. So, let's go right ahead and battle these guys. Now, I did notice that Zigzagoon does have an item. Let's take it, and we get ourselves another super potion, so that saves us a little bit of money. Let's go right ahead and battle these guys. I love shiny things. I trained under Watson. There is no way I'll lose this easily. Okay. No, not that easily. Okay. 
Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Bug Maniac Angelo and Sean, the guitarist, and here he comes out with Illumine, Ill Illumi, Illumise, Illumise. I don't know how to pronounce that. Illumise. Hmm. All right, so here we go, going up against these two Pokemon, and yes, it is a very speedy Pokemon. But guess what? No matter, Bullet Seed Attack for the win. And well, let's see. This Voltorb is well, staying right there. Here comes a Sonic Boom. Automatically takes 20 points right there. We don't need that. And, well, look at that. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Screw it. Let's go with a quick attack right here. And that almost defeats Voltorb, but here comes a charge attack. This actually will increase uh, its special defense while it's charging up. And it doesn't right here. And here comes a shockwave. Holy crud. Oh, oh my god. Alrighty. Oh my god, alrighty, so here comes an uproar, and still we haven't done anything. Quick attack right here, and here it is. Finishing on, oh wow, these Pokemon will not go away. Oh my god, okay, so here comes a shockwave, and this will take out my X boom Not really. I guess he has the last laugh right here, look at that. Get it, last laugh. And level 22, yes. Okay, so they got two more Pokemon right here, and this guy's got like a Volby going on. Okay. Let's go. Quick attack on this guy. And there you go. Bam. Voltorb has been defeated. Okay. What's next, guys? Oh, yeah, Magnemite. Yeah, our best friend right here. Okay, so... I think I should be done with the... Uh, oh, crap. Oh, well, there you go. We got defeated. All right, let's go with Venom right here. And... This should be easy, I think. Let's go with a quick attack on this guy. It's going to take a while to beat him. But let's go with a sludge attack, and there we go. That doesn't... That's not effective, but a confused ray will... Crap, baskets. Speed it up. Okay. Really, really do not like this. There we go. There we go. Defeated that guy. Let's go. Not that. Panda attack. There we go. And we lose another Pokemon. Okay. Sea Blade, you're out. Let's go. And... Uh, Water gun. There we go. And we have defeated these guys. Okay, so... <laughs> see, you see what happens when you get paralyzed a lot, guys? It just gets annoying. It gets under everybody's tits right there. It really does. Okay, so... I gotta heal up my Pokemon one last time. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, guys. Back, and, uh, well... Let's go right ahead and... Start this whole thing right here. This is going to be an intense battle, guys, because I do not have a lot that can actually help us. Really, really don't. And it's all going to come down to a lot of luck right here. I'm going to start off with X-Boom, mainly because it does have Rock Smash right here. I've given up on my plans to convert the city. I have. And so I put all my time in making uh, door traps in my gym. Oh. Now, what are you doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten past all my rigged doors? <laughs> no, that is amusing. Then I, Watson, the leader of the Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. I love this song, I really do. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number three, Watson. And he does have some pretty strong Pokemon right here at level 20. It's probably the good reason to why we, you know, we trained up. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Venom right here. That way, it can be a little bit easier for us to actually just beat this guy right here. And here comes a Spark attack. And that will hurt us. Let's go with the poison gas attack, and this right here will actually poison our, our good old buddy, Voltorb, right here. And, well, here comes a spark attack right now. That right there is going to mess us up. Holy crud. Okay, so the good thing is that we did stock up on quite, quite a few stuff right here. Alright. We do have 14 super potions. This can actually help us out right here. And here comes a spark attack. Now these Voltorbs are, yeah, these, these guys are, yeah. These guys are trying to help us out right here. Let's go Amnesia. This will actually increase our defense, our special defense. And just like that, we are paralyzed. Good gravy. But because of this Amnesia, it's going to raise up our special defense. We won't get hurt as much. Yes, we're trying to be a strategy, a strategic right here. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Venom yet again. And 
There we go, spark attack. Wow, critical hit, eat my, you know what? God dang it. Oh my god. So let's go, super potion. There we go. Alrighty, so here comes a shockwave attack. This guy is literally trying to, uh, to dump us down right here. Holy crud. And that is not effective. And, well, let's go right ahead and use another amnesia just to make sure... Just to make sure we don't get, you know, we don't get hurt again. So here we go, another amnesia attack. And this will sharpen up our special defense. And, yes, Voltorb, you are being poisoned. You are being hurt. Let's go right ahead and go with the sludge attack right here. Thanks to our quick claw, we got that move off real quickly right there. Alrighty, so there we go. And here comes Electric. This Pokemon right here is a menace. I would know because I like using this Pokemon. Let's go for a Poison Sting. Or no, not a Poison Sting, but, you know, Poison Gas. And here we go. Not the move. God dang it. Try it again. And it is buffing up its attack right here. It's physical attack, I should say. And here we go. Good gravy. All right, try it again. There we go. And, well... This Pokemon is going to go down in just a little bit. Alright, let's go Sludge Attack. And the Poison right there is going to help us just a little bit. But we both know that, you know, and what was his name? Watson likes to heal up his Pokemon. Here comes a Quick Attack. This is going to hurt us just a little bit. And Sludge Attack. Heals up his Pokemon. There we go. And I guess what we're trying to do is we're going to try and make sure that uh, Watson uses up all his healing items. That way, you know, bam. There you go. Venom kicking some butt, taking some names. He's going to be coming out with a Magneton. This guy right here is the challenge because it is a both Steel and Electric type Pokemon. Okay, so let's see what happens right here. I think I have something right here that can actually work. X attack, and here comes a Sonic Boom. Automatically takes 20 points, so it's got at least three more Sonic Booms. Let's go with the Rock Smash, and yes, Thunder Wave will paralyze us. Good gravy. Here it goes, and that right there will not lower its defense, but we're going to take another Sonic Boom, and there we go, and okay, so... We're gonna we're gonna risk it. Oh crap, baskets! Stay, stay. Damn it! Okay, so Magneton is really, really, really pissing me off right now. Okay, let's go, Sage of the Halo. Let's work. Um. Okay. Bullet Seed is gonna probably work right here. There we go. Not so effective. Good gravy. Okay, quick attack. Quick attack again. There we go. And, yeah, he's going to be going for a, yeah, he's going to be going for a, uh, what was it called, a, a, not a shockwave, but you know what I mean. There we go. Good gravy. This guy is, like, non-stop right here. See, the reason why I'm going with speed button right here is because this guy is just, it really is difficult going up against this guy when he just paralyzes the crud out of you. And this is why you need to just buy paralysis heals. And, well, he has confused us. Jesus Christ, okay. I think I know what to do. This is gonna be messed up, and here he comes out with a sonic boom. And I really do hate you for this. There we go. Jesus Christ, okay, let's go, come on. Thankfully, we stocked up. And let's go with a quick attack right here. Jesus Christ, alright. God, I hate you. Alright, we're not gonna lose this. Uh-uh. F that. Here we go. Screech attack. Come on. Yeah, we're not going to let this guy beat us like this. Okay, so here we go. Shockwave attack yet again. Time to eat this bullet seed. There we go. Come on. Jesus Christ, they hate that paralysis. Jesus, okay. Yeah, we're not going to go down like that. So here we go. Bullet seed. Eat this middle finger. That's right, Magneton. Time to eat it. There we go. Suck it. Okay. So that we're not out of the woods just yet, guys. We are not out of the woods because he's going to be coming out with a main nectric right here. 
So, what I need to do now is I need to go for like a sacri uh, sacrificial lamb. In uh, Zigzagood right here. This is kind of messed up, but... Here we have Magnetric. It will try and paralyze you. It will try to mess with you. And uh, what we need right here is we need Venom to at least, you know... We need Venom to at least hold off for just one uh, one good poison, uh, what was it called, uh, poison gas. That way, we can actually beat this main actric with poison and, you know, whatever whatever we have in mind right here. So let's go right ahead and use up another super potion. As you guys can see, we used up the majority of our super potions right here. Okay. Let's go. Here comes the shockwave. That will end Sea Blade right there. And let's go with a Venom. And, well, let's go right ahead. Poison gas. Here comes a howl, and there you go. You are now poisoned, my friend. And, well, let's go right ahead and use an amnesia. That right there will buff up our special defense. And it looks like we're going to use another super potion right here. Okay, quick attack. You're hurt by poison, my friend. Time to eat the sludge. And that won't hurt us. Jesus Christ, what else do you have on this Pokemon? God dang it. Alrighty, Super Potion, the last one. Thankfully, we have uh, Sodi Pops right here. Okay, time to eat this. Let's go with the Sludge Attack and... Okay, that's not gonna work right there. Actually, not a Repel, what the hell? Okay, so we got six Soda Pops. This will actually help us out too. And, well, Sludge Attack. And there we go, we have defeated Magnetric. Oh my god! Probably the only battle that I'm o I'm gonna be doing this because seriously, paralysis is just annoying. How many times did we get paralyzed? Like about six different times, I believe. And well, there we go. A hard, a well-earned battle right here. Throwing out that peace sign, flipping you off. Yes, we get the Dynamo badge right here, guys. And with this Dynamo badge, a Pokemon can use Rock Smash out of battle, and it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. Hmm, you should take this too. We get ourselves the TM34 Shockwave, the move that cannot miss at all. It's a trustworthy move that will never miss. You can count on it. Mm hmm. And we get this guy registered because we will be seeing you again. Okay. I swell with optimism and seeing a promising young trainer like you. Okay. Well, that was a. Uh, yeah, that was a. Uh, that was well. Well, well earned right there, guys. That was very, very well earned. Okay, so I'm gonna move forward to Verdant Turf Town because we need to do, we need to settle up a few things right there. That way we can progress. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are in Rust Turf Tunnel, and what we need to do now, going like after defeating the third gym battle, is we need to go right here, and we are now enabled to use the Rock Smash technique. So go ahead and use that, and bam, X-Boom breaks it. Bam. And, well, this guy right here is like, wow, you shattered that boulder block in the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like, to, I'd like you to have this HM. And there it is, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign yet again. We get ourselves a the HM04, which is strength. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move even the large bro boulders. Alrighty. And it, there he is. Wow, this is romantic right here. He's like, Wanda, now I can see you any time. Th that's wonderful. Please get some rest at my home. Oh, we all know what that means. Yeah, he's getting some rest. Man, I love my rest. I really do. I really love my rest. Going to bed. Renewing my relationship with my bed because, well, you know, got to get up to uh, for work and everything. Anywho, we're going to step outside right here because there's other things that we need to do before we finish off this episode. And that is, once you step outside right here, here is the individual that, you know, you save twice, three times or something like that. And he's going to be like, oh, it's you. You're the person who not only helped me in the pedal books, but also got my got back my stolen package and then even graciously delivered it in Slaveport. Captain Stern informed us that the package has arrived too. Thank you very, very much. Why, if I were a rain cloud and I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As a token of our appreciation, this is our gift to the wonderful trainer as you. And there it is, we got ourselves a repeat ball. 
That right there is a new Pokeball that is available at Rust Turf only, or Rust Burrow, I should say. And, uh, well, the repeat ball right there, it says it right there in the name. You can capture a Pokemon that you've actually gotten before. Now, one more thing, one last thing, guys, I promise you, we're gonna fast forward to it. Now that we this, now that we left off the letter to Steven Stone, we need to do one more thing. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in the Devon Corporation in the president's office, and uh, after delivering the letter to Steven Stone, we can talk to this guy yet again. He's like, "You delivered my letter? Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. It should help you, a trainer." And we get ourselves an experience share, which will help us in our training. A Pokemon that, hold, uh, that holds the experience share will be given some of the experience points from battle. It will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I would say experience, uh, the experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. It is. It is very, very much a, 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 an important aspect of this whole thing right here. Okay, guys. So, 10 episodes and we have completed a crap ton of stuff. And I mean a lot of stuff. And I am very, very proud about all of that. So, in the next episode, we will be going north of Mauville. And we're going to be continuing on our adventure right there. Quite possibly finding ourselves a new Pokemon here and there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's probably one of our longest of this walkthrough. As I am looking at this, it's about an hour and... An hour and ten... An hour and ten minutes long. But it will be edited down and all that crud, so... Yeah. That's how that, that's that's how dedicated I am to this walkthrough and making it better. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for being supportive and being patient. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.